Okay, so here we are. Here's my page. Notice I'm in landscape mode. That means that the width at the bottom is longer than it is down the side. So when you position your sketchbook, you'll have to position your, your book so that the longest part is at the, the bottom. I've got my picture of my, uh, my walking boot. I'm just going to start by doing a, com a complete contour drawing. That's an outline drawing of the boot. Little gap there for the lace. Comes round and go all the way around the back. Up over the top for the tab. And then down to join up at the bottom. So there's my outline. I just need to add a little bit of thickness there for the sole of the boot. Leaving a gap there for my lace. And then I have this part there, which is represents the uh, the heel of my of my walking boot. So I just complete the shape of the tongue. Now that comes round, and then it goes back up and joins round the heel of the boot. I've got this little area there that includes the name of the boot. They're called Scarpa, and then we've got this little tab that comes down and joins up where the lace runs around so it runs down off the page goes back under the boot obviously if you're drawing your shoe or your trainer you'll have it set up on on the table uh, where you're working so I've got a little bit of a loop around there that joins up so I can just do some gentle cross hatching inside there to add a little bit of shade and notice where we put these little lugs there that hold the lace so there's one two three one there that goes in behind and then there's two little lugs there. This is where I put the lace when I put it on my, my my foot. So there's a little bit of decoration at the top to support the uh, the, the the tongue of the of the boot. We have another little eyelet there, and then of course my laces they weave across like this. And then that one joins along there, so it's and that one goes to there and goes back round. Notice on the lace also there's these little issue lines there that decorate the edge of the the lace where the twine goes round. So just need to put it goes round there. And there's little areas there that represent a little bit of shading. So I just want to make my my boot look a bit curved on the edges. So those marks we made in the beginning of the exercise can assist you in decorating your boot. So there's a little line there that goes around to the back. And you can see there's some little stitches on there. You'll obviously take a lot slower. I'm doing this relatively quick so that we don't um, take up too much time um, of our uh, of our lesson. So you can add shading with your if you're using coloured pencil or, or charcoal. Notice these little areas there that make it look more curved. The same on the base of the, and then there's also little areas there that complete the tongue. So I can do my what we call the cross hatching, where the shade, where it's slightly notice where it's slightly darker on the side of the boot. So the closer the lines together, give the sense of it being darker, and the wider the lines. Give 
the impression that it's lighter. So just bring these. If you want to colour in, maybe with paints or watercolour or acrylic, then you can do that at the at the bottom. And then there's some more little curved areas to make so that your boot doesn't look flat. We just do this cross hatching. There's a few lines on the bottom of the of the sole of the and these little curved areas make it look as if the boots you know made of leather and you can just put these in this is we just put in these lines to add a little bit of of shadow and then if you want to add some of these little stones so it looks as if the boots actually sitting on the uh, on the ground if you're drawing your trainer or your shoe then obviously you'll have that um, something underneath so I, I took a photograph of my walking boot while I was out on on the patio there so I'm just drawing these they don't have to be exact but you can do little dots dots dashes little squiggles to make the pebbles look as if they're sitting on top of each other and there's a few more lines of my boot there just to make it look look as if it's curved notice these little areas there look on the boot i'm just including that of these little cross hatch lines and adding a little bit more more shading so take your time don't rush your drawing we've got a good half an hour on this Around the back there, there's some more shadowy areas to make it look as if it's curved. So there's the demo. I'm going to just do a few more of these stones so they go around. And at the top of the, I've got a, a much wider, there's a few more stones. This is where, out in the patio area where my mum and I sit and have a coffee. Let's just do a few more stones round, round the edge. And you can just decorate those. That's it. They're only little kind of pebbles, grey pebbles. They look really nice when it's been raining. So add a little bit of slightly darker in between. You put little shaded areas you can make as if look as if those pebbles are sitting on, on the uh, on top of each other a few more going around there so you can color in afterwards but don't forget start off with a little contour drawing to begin with and then you can fill in the details as we go